A fourth day of protests in Yerevan. Hundreds are calling for Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan to resign. They're saying he's abandoned ethnic Armenians in Nagorno-Karabakh, a region they call Artsakh. This is a shame of our nation that our government, with the face of Nikol Pashinyan, is not taking all the required measures to save Armenians wherever they should be. The Prime Minister says Armenia is preparing to accept people who leave Nagorno-Karabakh if it becomes impossible for them to stay under Azerbaijani rule. If it's determined that it will be impossible for them to live in their homes, if the situation does not improve, then this problem will be on our agenda. We have done some work and now 40,000 places have been prepared in Armenia. The region is recognized internationally as Azerbaijani territory, but it has been self-governing for nearly three decades with strong ties to Yerevan. Ethnic Armenians have been living there for generations. Azerbaijan and Armenia have fought two wars, sparked by this dispute, most recently in 2020. But after a sudden Azerbaijani offensive this week, Karabakh fighters have agreed to disarm. Azerbaijan's government says they will have a choice to stay or to leave. We agreed that uh, or who is going to put down his guns and uh, not to use any force against an Azerbaijan and Azerbaijani forces, simply they should be set free and they should decide with the state of Karabakh over to Armenia, it will be their uh, ultimate decision. Nagorno-Karabakh and Azerbaijan have yet to agree on security guarantees for ethnic Armenians and other issues. But they have started removing some road blockades, with the first humanitarian aid since the ceasefire coming in on Friday. Dmitry Medvedenko, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.